hear them shout, down and marching all about, and those big sounds go rolling along. For it's high, high me in the field artillery. Count out your numbers loud and strong. Two, three, four, up, two, three. And wherever you go, you will always know that those big sounds go rolling. contributed a great deal to this organization. This is a nonprofit organization. It is a national organization. And it's quiltsofdollar.org. If you uh, need to put somebody in for a quilt, you go to www.quiltsofdollarfoundation.org and it'll have um, request a quilt. You fill in the information and it is distributed. Whether they're in Oklahoma City or they're here in West Point, Georgia, it goes to whoever is closest to that area that makes quilts. I'm going to first tell you a little bit about Quilts of Valor. Quilts 
of Valor is a foundation of people who make quilts to cover service members and veterans who have been touched by war in order to provide comfort, or honor, and gratitude of their sacrifices and services. In 2003, Catherine Roberts founded Quilts of Valor when her son was deployed to Iraq. Always feeling close to panic over her son's deployment, one night she dreamt of a post-deployment warrior sitting on the side of his bed struggling with war demons during the night. As the dream continued, she saw him sitting on the side of his bed wrapped in a quilt and his whole demeanor changed to one of hope and well-being. From this vision, Quilts of Valor Foundation began. Catherine awarded the first Quilts of Valor at Walter Reed Hospital as a way to say someone cared. This is the time when ten, Twin Towers was bombed, and she could not go into the hospital, so she gave it to a chaplain and asked him would he please take that quilt and give it to somebody who really needed it, and this he did. It took her small group three years to make the first 100 Quilts of Valor. In May of 2014, we awarded the 100,000 quilt at Walter Reed Hospital where the first quilt was a valor was awarded in 2003. As of today, we have awarded 269,505 quilts of valor to our veterans. I would like you to know this quilt brings a three-part message to you. First, we honor you for your service, for your willingness to leave all you hold dear and stand in harm's way in times of crisis for us all. Second, we know that freedom is never free. And Quilts of Valor is meant to say thank you for your many sacrifices. For those of us who have never seen or been touched by combat or been in a war zone, such experiences are beyond our capacity and comprehension. For all you have endured, thank you for your preserving our country's independence and the personal freedoms we enjoy here in America. We understand that you made great sacrifices in defense of our nation. What you and your federal veterans have done for us is forever etched in our memory. It's too important to ever be forgotten. Without the historic actions of our men and women in uniform, America simply would not be and could not be the land of the free and the home of the brave. On behalf of all of us, we say thank you. Finally, these quilts offer you comfort. Throughout history, when young men and women left home to fight more, many of them took a quilt made by a family member that they called comfort quilts. It may have been all these young men and women had for warmth, and may have been all they had to provide warmth of the memories that home can bring. Quilts still have the ability to offer the source of both comfort and warmth. We hope when you experience dark memories or need the warmth of a hug, you will let this quilt wrap itself around you and provide both. We want you to use this quilt. It's not meant to be hung on a wall or be put in a display case. Quilters say that every quilt tells a story. The story of your quilt began with a Georgia or Alabama quilter who shared your love of country. As of today, the story of this quilt becomes your story. We hope you will look at your quilt as a tangible reminder that there are thousands of men and women across America who are forever in your debt and it is our pleasure to honor you with Quilts of Valor. On behalf of Quilts of Valor Foundation and a grateful nation, our deepest appreciation, we thank you for your service to our country and that you will accept this Quilts of Valor Award. Thank you and most importantly know that you are forever in our hearts and welcome home. Okay, Mr. David Dismuck. 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 <laughs> Say your name. Dismuck. Okay, please stand. Can I have one of the Quilts of Valor ladies? <laughs> we won't wrap you in the quilt anymore because of COVID, so we're going to hand you your quilt back. Now, you chose your own quilt today. I, I have them numbered, so you chose your own quilt today. They're all different in all kind of ways, but please don't put it in a display case. Use your quilt. Okay? Thank you so much. Kenneth Carroll. These have Quilts of Valor labels on the back, so it is a genuine Quilts of Valor quilt. All your recipients today are Army recipients. Thank you, Mr. Carroll. Mr. Philip Boyd, please stand. Okay. 
Normally, in the past, we have wrapped a quilt around you and hugged your neck, but since COVID, we're, we're not going to do that right now. Sorry. Doesn't mean you're any less loved. Okay, on some of you, I have so a little bit of information. Uh, uh, it was an honor and a privilege uh, to be able to serve my country and, and serve the American people uh, for 20, uh, 20 years. And, and now, uh, continuing in my family, it's even an honor to have my son, who is, who is deployed now to Korea, uh, serving as the first sergeant there at Camp Casey uh, there in Korea. Uh, but being here today, I want to thank you guys for everything you guys do for us. It's such a nostalgic uh, symbolism of American patriotism uh, for you, you ladies to come and do that for us, to knowing that you guys support us uh, while we're deployed. And now, even that we've been retired for many years, uh, for you guys to, to continue to support us, even though uh, we, we're on in the years and, and away from the military, it's just an honor uh, for being able to come here and to be recognized from you guys. Uh, it's something special to me, and I'll hold this near and dear to my heart and to my family. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mr. Kenneth Carroll, I have, don't, I always have to do it in the Army. It's all the information I have on me. Yeah, I was uh, when in 66, right out of high school, and uh, retired then in 86. So I had 20 years in. I was in Army Aviation uh, all those years. Was you in Vietnam? I'll have one tour of duty in Vietnam. And uh, I just want to say we appreciate you ladies. Appreciate all the people who recognize you. Well, we thank you. Thank you. Okay, Mr. Philip <coughs> Moore, would you like to give us some info? I know you was in Germany, is this correct? That is correct. I was, went in the service in 1971. I spent uh, most of my time here in the United States, but I eventually went to Germany for a year and a half, and uh, that was back during the Vietnam era. I had papers two or three times to go to Vietnam, but uh, luckily each time they got canceled. So, uh, but I just want to say I appreciate you ladies that, that took the time to do this, and for you for uh, bringing this to all the veterans. Well, we thank y'all. The ladies, the Pulse Battle ladies, thank you. 